today we are going to read or I should rather say I would like to give you an insight on MTP 101 Unit 3 Well, the Unit 3 before we start that I would like to give you a little idea on the unit two you people had read. In the unit two, I had told you about the fibers, the fabrics, and the various sources we get them from. But supposing if those fibers and fabrics were not colored, they were of the natural color, that is the white or the off-white, how would that look? Not interesting, eh? So today I am going to tell you about the dyes and dye which make the fabrics or fibers look attractive. Or rather they give the color to the fabric or the fabrics. And even if we have to do the printing, we have to use the color. Today we are going to study about different types of dyes and their affinity to different fibers, objectives. After going through this lesson, you will need to be able to know about dyes and dyeing know about sources of dyes, know about the affinity of dyes. Introduction Dyes are the coloring material that color commodities of our day-to-day -day use. Hardly there is any industry where dyes are not used. Commercially, from plastic toys to clothes, we wear with attractive colors. Everywhere there is an application of dyes. This unit tries to give a complete knowledge about the dyes, its sources and the various types that are used successfully. What is dyeing? Dyeing is used at various stages of production of fabric to add color to textiles and to increase its product value. Its chemically changes a substance so that the reflecting light appears colored. What are dyes? Textiles are dyed using a wide variety of dyes, using various techniques and equipment. Dyes are sold as powders, granules, pastes and liquid dispersions. Dyes are produced either chemically or from plants. The most important point to remember about dye is that unlike paint, it does not build up in the surface but is absorbed into the pores of the material. Self-check questions. I would like all of you to answer these questions and if you need help please ask your mentors to do so. But the best would be if you discuss amongst yourselves. But had you heard my lesson from the beginning carefully, you would not require to ask or take help of anybody but you will be able to answer these questions. Question number one, what is dying? Please discuss amongst yourselves. Question number two, what are dyes? If you have discussed, let me continue with the lesson. Sources of dyes. The dyes which are used for coloring fabric can be classified according to their sources. 
they are natural dyes these dyes are based on raw materials available in nature such as from plants insects and minerals these dyes are non polluting second type of dyes are which are obtained from chemical dyes these dyes are not received from natural sources but are synthetically made by using various chemicals chemical dyes are cheap and easy to apply with excellent fastness but are environment hardness that means that if we use these dyes we can get some environmental problem or health problems that's why the natural dyes are used which are non polluting or which don't have any problem with our health or the environment types of dyes the dyes are classified based on the products to which they are applied and the nature of each type for thousands of years dyes have been used by man to decorate his clothing or fabrics the primary source of dyes has been nature where the dyes being extracted are from plants animals or minerals in the last 150 years man has produced chemical dyes to achieve brighter and a wider range of colors different classes of dyes are used for different types of fibers and at different stages of textile production processes the fibers to yarn to cloth to finished garments what can be dyed any fabric can be dyed any textile can be dyed silk is extremely easy for dyeing cotton is perhaps the easiest fabric to work with because it takes dyes extremely well and it is comparatively inexpensive natural dyes which are cotton linen silk and wool and viscous rayon can be dyed with cold water dyes many synthetic dyes can be dyed with hot water dyes and these come in wide range of colors and shades polyesters and fabrics with special finishes can be dyed the cloth that to be dyed must be washed first to get rid of any impurities which are natural or have been added by the manufacturer in form of starch which will prevent the dye to enter the cloth assignment make a chart showing affinity of different dyes of various types of fabrics here i would suggest you people to collect or make few swatches summing up today we studied about the dyes and the dyeing and how we dye the fabrics or what are the colors we use for them or what type has the affinity or what are the natural dyes or what are the what do you call the man made dyes how the man made dyes are hazardous to us or how the what do you call them the natural dyes are good for us and how easily we can dye them. i hope you all enjoy today's lesson now i will give you the possible answers to the self check questions but i'm quite sure you people already know the answers the answer to question number 1 was dyeing is used at various stages of production of fabric 
to add color to textiles and increase its product value. The question number two was dyes are the material used to color textiles and are available in powder, granules, paste and liquid form. Thank you.